Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be checking out a great jazz standard by Duke Ellington, Caravan. Let's check it out. Hello, hello, good people. My name is Theron Brown and welcome to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. Today we're just going to be checking out the A section of the song. I'm going to go ahead and play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. One, two, set, go. All right, that was fun. Made me want to dance a little bit with all that rhythm and harmony going on in the background. All right, so let's check out the right hand. First, we have a treble clef and our key signature. We have four flats. So that means we're gonna be playing in the key of A flat. And those flats include B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Next, we have our time signature. We're in four, four. All right, so starting out, we're gonna put our third finger on C, and to prepare for the rest of the melody, I'm gonna go ahead and get our fingers set so that we can be all ready for success here. So go ahead and put your fourth finger on D flat, and also put your first finger, your thumb, on G, and our second finger on B flat. And our last but not least, our, our pinky here, our fifth finger on E. Okay? That's gonna be our hand position for this first line. Okay, if you notice the first note here, C, we have a tie. So we're gonna to wanna to hold that out for eight beats total. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, next we have a rest. And then our notes uh, that we had prepared, fourth finger on D flat, then a C, G, B flat, C, E, G, and then ending the phrase at measure 27 with a B flat. Okay, very cool sound. Moving on to measure 29, we have a slightly different melody. We're just gonna be changing one note. So we still have our third finger on C, fourth finger on D flat, third finger on C, and then D flat again. And here's where our change is going to happen. We have C and then a B natural, which is not in our key signature. We go to G and finish the phrase with a B flat. And remember, we're holding that for eight beats total. Okay, now moving on to measure 33, our next phrase. So we're going to start with our second finger on C. Then our thumb falls in line going down to B natural. We're going to cross our third finger over to B flat. Now we're going to go to an A natural, an A flat natural, then a G flat. This is going to be a note that is outside of that chromatic pattern. G flat, and then we have an E natural. And then our finger position is going to land us with a two on the F there. So let's just try that little line, the chromaticism. Awesome. So that's the right hand melody. Uh, let's go ahead and try that at a slower tempo. One, two, set, go. Okay, now let's try it at the faster tempo. Um, if you're still not comfortable, you can always go back and repeat the slower tempo with me. One, two, set, go. All 
right, so that's it for the right hand. There is that one last note at the end, but that's for the next section. So let's go ahead and go to the left hand. So here, of course, we have our bass clef, key signature, which is still the same, and we are still in 4-4. We're going to look at the first chord here, which is a C7 over E. And this is nothing but an inversion that's going to sound pretty crunchy, so it'll really complement harmonically. So our first finger position here, we're going to have our fifth on E. We're going to have our second finger on B flat. And our thumb, number one, on C. If you notice from our right hand, we have these little slurs or ties again. And that means we're going to hold this note out for eight beats rather than just four. Um, so we will not restrike the note when we go to the next measure. If you notice here, we'll be playing this exact same chord all the way up until measure 35. You will have to pay attention to the rest in measure 34. So we're going to have the C7 over E. We're going to be holding that out. Eight beats. Then when we get to measure 35, we're going to move to a different finger position here, which our A flat should be ready. And all we have to do is move the E up to the F for that nice resolution there. Okay, let's try this at the slow tempo. One, two, set, go. Awesome. Let's try that at the faster tempo now. One, two, set, go. All right, very good. Now, before we move on to putting hands together and playing the A section of Caravan, I just want to make sure that you know that you can check out the rest of the song on Playground Sessions interactive app. And if you haven't checked out the app yet, you can click right here on this card and there's a free trial. I highly suggest you do that. There's tons of material and different songs that you can pick from. All right, so we are just about ready to play this song. I just want to give you a couple tips before we put the hands together. Tip number one would be to get your hand position locked and loaded. So I'm going to make sure my C7 here over E is set with E, B flat, and C. Then my melody, yes, is on the third finger, but I like to prepare the rest of the melody and just have my fingers on G and the B flat, C, D flat, and E just kind of ready there. That way I can play it. Okay, it all just lays under the fingers. Remember on the third phrase, we have a natural right there on that B, which gives us a little tension leading to the B flat. And last but not least, let's go ahead and try that at a slower tempo. One, two, set. Very good. Now, if you're feeling good about that, let's go ahead and go to the faster tempo. One, two, set, go. All 
right, good people, that was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Theron Brown and this is Playground Sessions, a YouTube channel. There's tons of other videos and be sure to check out the interactive app. All right, good people, thanks for watching. I'm Theron Brown. Don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that notification bell. Be sure to check out the Playground Sessions app, co-created by music legend Quincy Jones. Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Peace out.